Yes, yes, yeah. You are tuned in to Offering Something. I am your host, Enjoy, Michael Bernier. Feeling so good to be alive. You know that's the truth. I got so much love and appreciation for our sponsors at Enjoy Your Life brand, Rockport Brewing Company, and New Balance. And you know I love you for tuning into the show. Today, I got a super special guest in the building with me. Oh, yeah. A man that got some wordplay for days. Sweats hip-hop, lives out the culture. My brother, Landon Wordswell. Yo, what's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, yeah. I'm doing great. That's good, man. I'm That's doing good. so good. How you feeling? I'm great, man. I'm great. Like, you know, we, we, uh, we've we been driving around. You see my, my guys right here. We've been driving yeah. around. Yeah. Um, on this tour for a little bit, so um, you know it's nice to kind of relax. It's an off day for us. Yeah, it you is. Know, so we're, we're chilling. Well, we're you chilling. better be on, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm on. I'm on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's dig into it first. Yeah. Like, where were you born? Where'd you come into this world? Where'd you come out of the womb? Man, I came into the womb in Indianapolis, Indiana. Word. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there for a couple of months. What's that like? Because I hear Indiana, and I just think it's like some hick town country yeah. situation. But um, Indianapolis, that's a city. Indianapolis is a city, a real yeah. city, 100%. It's a real city, he uh -huh. says. Yeah. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, First of all, skyscrapers and everything. Explain and everything. to me what classifies as a real city. That means what to you? <laughs> like, you know how some people, get you know. It a little dangerous. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different cultures there. There's a lot yeah. of diversity there. There's a lot of um, things to, to learn from all different walks of life there. You know what I'm saying? How long were you there? For a couple, a couple months. A couple months. A couple months. But, <laughs> learned a lot. But, but no, no, no. I was, was born the there, but I, my grandma <laughs> lived there. <laughs> <laughs> and I went there every summer. I, I okay, stay with her. Every, yeah. I stay with her every summer. So um, you kept your ties. Yeah, yeah. I, I like it there, man. I learned a lot You're from a the folks there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I I'm not a cult fan though. Oh, <laughs> no, no. But I actually have a Tennessee type fan. <laughs> but, but yeah, no, no. My my granny was there. She passed. But um, yep. I had some I had some incredible experiences there. I learned from a lot of different people there. Um, mainly her and. Uh, her her boyfriend Casey, um, I saw a lot of shit there, so it was cool. A lot, a lot of cool. things happened. Yeah, a lot of things. So, happened. you're in Indianapolis. That's a short lived thing. Yeah. Tell me, where were you? What city, state, when you first fell in love with hip hop? Oh shit! Where was, were you when that happened? I was in the St. Louis area, man. St. That's where Louis. I'm from. Yeah, that's where. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nelly yeah. was really <laughs> locking it in, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you How old were you at this time? Man, when you, uh, when you, well, I moved. I when moved. you were like, yo, hip hop is oh, it's a part of me. I got it's uh, there's some connection here. I was 13. 13. Yeah, a friend of mine from Brooklyn, uh, New York. His name was Will. He had to be from Will. Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He came through. He heard what I was listening to. I was listening to like Shaggy. I was listening to like Nelly and shit. He was like, turn that shit off. You yeah. Know? And then he like he turned His it. Mom he, deep. Yeah. He was like, yo, check this out. Check this out. It was Tyler Kweli, Most Def, yep. Black Star. It was yeah. uh, Common. It was. Uh, uh, he, he put me on to the Dipset, the Dipset crew and everything. I thought they were funny. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it I mean. It was an interesting yeah, yeah. situation. But I do love Jim Jones if I, you're watching bro, out there, yeah. buddy. You know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're dope. They're dope, man. They always been dope. So, you know, I, uh. I got on. I got onto it from that from that angle. Black Thought was a big one for me. He, like yeah. I heard him, and he's still my favorite rapper of all time. Oh my you know, God. so and like yeah. we could talk about just that seven to nine minute oh situation God, that went on. Jeez. Funk Flex is like an iconic moment in <laughs> in like the whole hip hop story that is painted in like the foundation and the fabric of myself. When that came out, I was like. It's so many yeah, times. I watched it a I've lot. watched that. Yeah. So I want to know every single word to the whole thing. Yeah, they got yeah, it. Uh, I, I love him. I saw yeah. a, a thing. They have it like transcribed. They have it like a the, the all the lyrics laid out for it. Really? Yeah, you can look at it while I you. Yeah, it's, it's dope. Yeah, it's I'll dope. go do that yeah, in karaoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's happening here? <laughs> so. Aside from your homie from Brooklyn, what was his yeah. name? Will? Will. Aside from yeah, Will King from Will. Brooklyn, yeah. at this point when you're out in St. Louis, like what are your sources for getting music? Is it strictly the radio? 
No, uh, yeah, man, it was pretty much the radio. But um, like I said, with him, he had he had came from a place where um, he got it a little differently. You know what I mean? Or he whatever he was getting fed was different. You know, he had a big brother too, and I was yeah. just talking to them about. I grew up with all sisters. I didn't really have. Um, that type of a relationship with my sibling, yeah where, yeah, where where he's like beating him up a little bit and being like, "Look, listen to this shit, stupid." You know what I mean? Like, uh, but this um, is the way. That's what clowns are doing. Yeah, Don't yeah, do this. Yeah. So we did. When he did it to me, I was like, "What's wrong with you, bro?" Like, but I, I I appreciated it though. I appreciated it a you lot. Need a little work. No, <laughs> no, no. He was he was the homie, man. So um, hold on. What was your born name? My uh, real name's Anthony. Anthony. Yeah, Landon uh, Wordswell is just a uh, yeah, play I understand on words. This, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, Anthony, what is it? Do you come with a middle and a last name? <laughs> you got to give my government. You can put my government out. <laughs> it's Anthony, man. Anthony Short, man. Anthony yep, Short. Me. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah like the stature. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. Is it because your last name is Short? Is there certain jokes that you've heard too many times as a result of this? No, nah, I mean, I'm, I'm generally speaking, I'm pretty short, so yeah, I don't I, mind it. You I, know what I mean? I <laughs> agree with Anthony Short <laughs> in the statement. Yeah, man. You know, short chains, baby. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're 13 years old. Now we're 14. How do you reach this point in the in the young mind of anthony what were your friends calling you then what was your like tony what was your thing and so my guy from brooklyn called me tony tony um but no one yeah, else really did, did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah but no one else really did everyone called me anthony my uh my family called me they called me anthony you know Yo, what I mean? like, so anthony <laughs> what was it that happened in your mind that made you say to yourself <laughs> "Yo." Well, I can rap. Yeah, um, it was a lot of things that happened. Uh, my 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 family was really serious about like school and stuff, so I was thinking about just going to college and getting everything situated. What do but... you mean serious about school? Like they're checking your grades. You had to get yeah. A's. Yeah, a C plus, Anthony. That's no, they weren't like unsettable. that because because uh, I wasn't like super studious or anything. They were just like, yo, you just make sure. you... I don't like C's. Keep it yeah. B. If you if you can't get an A, keep it B. You know, and that's that's what their thing uh, their thing was. You know what I mean? So so you were going through the traditional path, mm-hmm. high school, college, yeah. get your degrees, yeah, and yeah. then get a good job with security, yeah. some yeah. health insurance. That's exactly what I grew up you know, listening to. Yeah, we want to know that you're safe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, my mom, she worked really hard. She yeah. worked hard. Um, she was a single mom, and then she yeah. met my step pops. Um, and they both worked really, really, really hard. So they thought, like, this is the way we did it, and I think it'll work for you. So, you know, yeah, do it. They're doing uh, what they think is best for yeah. you. Yeah. And then my pops, he Not was kind of. That love. That was, was mad love, man. Yeah. My mom is my mom's the greatest, man. Yeah. You know, so is my dad. Um, so, honestly, I, I, uh, I, I looked at what they were talking about. I didn't necessarily follow that path. You know, I ended up going to the military for six years. Cause I wanted to uh, just kind of like get some independence Do a lot of push-ups. With, <laughs> with finances, you know. Oh, uh, they had a signing bonus, so- you know. So you know, <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. why I joined. You know what I mean? And then it ended up being like, uh, was that a positive experience overall? You'd do it again? No. I wouldn't do it again, but okay. but, but I, you're glad you did. But I'm I'm glad I did because it taught yeah. me a lot. It taught me some discipline that I needed yeah. for what I'm doing now. Yeah. Um, a lot of times, uh, like I'll tour so much, and a lot of a lot of my friends they'll be like, they'll be like, "How are you doing this?" And it's like for me, it doesn't it doesn't phase me like that. Yeah. So, you know, mentally maybe, but Warrior like physically, status. my body is all right. You know, because of that. You know, uh, I learned a lot. You know, uh, putting my body through a lot of shit through that. Yeah. And so now stuff is easy. It's, it doesn't make you know doesn't make me weary. So let's get back to how do you decide that you can rap? Oh yeah, or that people even want to hear this. Yeah, man, my mom's. Um, she she talked to me about that. She was like, "So what do you want to do? Why are you Why are you rapping? Let me hear it." And I let her hear it. She's like, mm, "That ain't good." <laughs> and, and then my other friends, my, yeah, mama. you know, <laughs> she kept it real, man. I sucked. <laughs> I sucked, man. She, that's I, not yeah, too good. Yeah. But um, my other friends, they were saying this. They were just like, "Well, let me, you know, okay. So what are you gonna rap about?" Like, and I'm like, "Well, I think I can rap about like." stuff that pertains to our community or society and they're like it ain't lit <laughs> you know what i mean so like, <laughs> like you know right? yeah yeah but i kind of knew that i wanted to rap because um there's a lot of different things that happened um from 14 on like um i, I did my first uh tour i was talking to them about quite a bit i did my yeah. first tour in europe um and when i was 19 
and my mom um she luckily she kept like tabs on me um this was but me getting that offer to go over yeah, there that made that man, made her living like, oh well yeah she was stoked she was yeah, like I bet yeah she was like yeah i believe in this i believe in this <laughs> <It's> <laughs> you know? but um airplanes other countries it was dope it was dope but it was hard it was uh you know i went through some hardships out there and then yeah. i ended up uh, coming back home and even though it was really hard I wanted to continue doing it. So that's when yeah. I knew I wanted to really, really get after it. I see. Yeah. Yeah. So when was, so you I were s- performing out there. When yeah. was the first, what was the first show? Do you recall your first show? Not specifically on this tour. No. Oh, in, oh, in just the in, ever. Oh, oh yeah. Was my act, first. Like actually my your first name was on a bill and you're going to go step on stage in front of people. My first show was at my high school. They had All a right. thing called uh, the Frolics, February Frolics. My um my buddy was Frolics. Yeah, Frolics. Yeah. Okay. My buddy was the uh, he was the like school. frolicking. Yeah, like, like a deer does. Yeah, yeah. That's what he's talking about. Yeah, frolicking. February yeah. frolics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I never heard of that. Yeah, man, it was yeah. it was it was. <laughs> well, it was just it's a it's a high school thing. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was at a high school. My buddy was the the president of the high school, and he was just like, uh, I'm gonna get some hip hop on this year because they wow. never put hip hop on it. And um, he was also my manager, you know what I mean? Ooh, and he was also you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking a, advantage of the angles. <laughs> he, yeah, he Got the president in his pocket <laughs> using this tool but to his own advantage. Man, it was, <laughs> yeah, 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 it, yeah, I it, like it. We, we killed it, man. We, we, uh, yeah, yeah, it was my first group. Actually, the guy from Brooklyn, he was in that group with me. Um, he was a rapper, too. Yeah. Yeah, so it was me, him, the president of the school, who was also a beat maker of ours. <laughs> and then it, it just worked out, bro. It just worked out. It just worked yeah, out. Yeah. We didn't, you know what I mean? Like, he yeah. ended up getting voted. And it we didn't know him until he was president, <laughs> but, you know. I hope he's watching it. I mean, he's, he's definitely going to watch this. I'm going to tell him that yeah. we're talking about him. I love it. Um, so... Since this time, yeah. First, like we keep saying, rap. Like we're calling this rap music. Is there a subgenre that you consider that you fall into? Oh man, I just like I I, I consider it just uh, like you know hip hop uh, subgenre. Not so much, man. I just think because I I like to do all different types of hip hop. So I just think that hip hop itself is just one one big piece of music you know what i mean but like, there are subgenres. let's like be, mumble just rap be honest and shit, here. you know <laughs> there's the mumble rap yeah yeah yeah, yeah gangster rap i don't do gangster right rap. There, do there's all rap. Yeah. there's righteous rap there's all yeah, different yeah. categories conscious rap conscious there's, i guess yeah you know, i guess there's I storytelling you know all the things and as i said each one of those you thought of specific artists so you know what i'm saying yeah yeah actually yeah you're right yeah. um i i, I think i I consider myself more of a like a conscious rapper, I guess, yeah. but also. Yeah. Uh, um, what do you associate conscious that category with? Kind of corny. You want to somehow get across that it's true hip hop from the boom bap era, like real. I I think that I think that I I, I don't usually use the, the 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 phrase true hip hop just because, like I said, I think that everyone has their own truth. You know what I mean? Like, but I think that for me and my my own shit, like. Yeah. I um I can cuss right. Uh, you can do anything you like. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. I don't know what to represent was, yourself. I however that. you choose. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um. Hey. But when it comes to oh hip hop, man, I think that um, because I've 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 met so many different types of rappers, yeah. and um, I've known rappers that lie out their fucking teeth about about what they're doing, but I've I've also known rappers that don't. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then they don't. They also don't do. They don't do the type of hip hop that um that I do. And, um, you know, I've hung out with those guys and I, I've seen them, you know, uh, go through the things they say they're going yeah. through. And I'm just like, I'm just like, wow, that's, uh, you know, but it depends on how you do it. Like some people glorify that shit and some people who really are doing that aren't really glorifying. They're just they're talking about what they went through, you know. Yeah. So, like, I respect all all the different types of forms. Um, but you you feel that personally personally met myself you speak the truth yeah i speak words. i speak yeah you for can sure. stand right behind them smiling yeah like, yeah, yeah man yeah. yeah i can feel good about what i'm saying you know yeah. that's what that's that's the at the end of the day like a so lot you of you do feel you know you can you do feel good about what you yeah say. absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah. man like you I got mean, 16 right now yeah i got 16 let's i always got okay let's right. hear it right. let's hear it pat you ready for this <laughs> ready. yeah man all right all right, all right all right let me see let me think um yes 
this year has been fucking crazy, but you do fine though. Look, money, I'm here to save you. Got that coupon flow. I mean, my God, they got us, forgot about us, and got a new one. Tried to knock us, adopt the choppers to stop the movement. Pop a shot at the popular pop and squat with binoculars. Watch the block and it's not gonna stop the shots and they mocking us. See them in my sights and I'ma stop them regardless. So I don't fuck with Walmart, dog. I got them in Target. Cast through three shows, then call it a tour. I put my life on the line. I've been homeless before, but I didn't call my moms. I was embarrassed as shit. Once I got up on them stages, I would tear them to bits. So to be fair, you ain't hearing a rapper. You are. Here in the aftermath that lasted the rafter, the clash of the batches, the blasted path, the path of the passes, a slave to the masses, a classic case, a chasing attackers, and Tash told me right at 16, fuck it, I'm gone. It's high time that y'all know the type of struggle I'm on. A lot of it's passion, asking for the liveest attraction. Money talks, I speak it fluent, it's got a thick accent, taming them up. Questioning why ain't it enough? So I caught Rosetta Stone to learn the language of love, sipping elixir of the gods. I come to rebel. If that cup's half empty, I'm drunker than hell. Throwing up upon a beat. Turntable, get the spins. Stumble upon this rap shit, I'm hungover again. I really, really eat, sleep, breathe this rap shit. Look, why don't you cats get my tracks for a weapon? Stepping back for a second, packing a session, slowly crepping. Now I'm rapping with legends, past and the present. My habitat's adapting to lessons, and as a confession, I'd rather rap than lack the profession. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Thank you, man. Oh, everybody that's watching feels a little different now. They're like, yo. <laughs> Actually, it's not a 16. He's man. not saying it. he ain't saying he raps. Yo, mind's blown. How you feeling now? <laughs> Yo, I appreciate I, you, man. You know, I'm aware of what you do already. Yeah, yeah, but, for sure. Bro, I love you. Oh, dude, I love you. Getting too, man. it in. Thank you. Yeah, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Bro. So. In there, you mentioned that you've been working alongside some of your icons and legends in the game. Who are some of the people that you have ended up with that you're like, yo, this um, is amazing. You know what? Recently, recently. Um, Let's talk recently. One of my friends, one of, someone who has become a really good friend of mine, um, who we're, we'll be seeing tomorrow, is my boy Sky Zoo. We got a show Sky tomorrow in right, Manchester, Ooh, New Mexico. People uh, love New Sky Mexico. Zoo. Yeah, dude, he's dope, man, and I see why. I see why people love him, man. Yeah. He's a super solid guy, um, tied into a lot of integrity. Like his integrity is off the charts, man. Like he's super dope. He's super dope, dope dude, man. So um, it'll be I it'll be fun that. to do this show tomorrow. It'll, we got another one in Providence um, with him, and then we got another one in Brooklyn. So word up, yeah, a man. lot of love to Sky Zoo. Yes, yes, yes. Who yes. else? Who else? You getting in some work with? <laughs> Uh, I did. I did a lot of different tours, man. I've, I've done some tours with like Black Alicious on my mind or something. Yeah, something yeah, to do yeah, you? yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. Gifted Gab. I toured with Gifted Gab. That's for, right. For, for rest in peace, by the way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I toured with them for about seven years. Um, it was dope. It was a good time. It was a good time. Um, I did some stuff. Uh, I did a tour with Talib Kweli, Elzai. Um, Bun B, a lot of different people like that, but um, it's it Bun for B. for me it was just yeah. like sharpening the blade, man. Of course, you see somebody rocking that you really Whoa, admire. You ain't learning, you know? <laughs> yeah. You ain't living. Yeah. You ain't living. You dying. Boy. Yeah, straight up, man. <laughs> straight up, absolutely, man. Yeah, we grow, or I'm not sure what's happening, right? Yeah, yeah. definitely, man. Yeah. So. Um, Who's in the room with you? Who, right who now, are these guys here? Oh, they man. look real good. Who are they? <laughs> yeah. This is Dirty Dirty, man. Dirty Dirty. Yeah, man. I um and that's a a hip hop group, Dirty Dirty. That's a hip hop group, yeah. man. Monster hip hop group. Monster. Man. Monster hip hop group. Yeah. Absolutely, man. Um they actually have uh like to me personally, um since we've been doing this tour, I've been learning. I'm like, man, these motherfuckers Got bars. They got, yeah. <laughs> they got absolute bars, man. Like yeah. intelligence, um, just fuck. It just off off the roof, off the wreck. Like the scale is insane, man. Like the, I mean, I'm talking about them in front of their faces, yeah. but but I'm saying for real. Like I would say it behind their back too. Yeah, yeah. Very absolute, man. Yeah. Like so, you guys just met on this particular run here, or there's been prior yeah engagements. Yeah, I met yeah. them on. I was I was doing a tour with uh, Gift to Gap actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, go figure. So I was doing yeah. a tour with them. <laughs> go um, figure. <laughs> and I was in, um, <laughs> I was in Rhode Island. You know what I mean? And what a place, Rhode Island. Yeah. What's good, Providence? Yeah, yeah. Where, 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 Rest where, where, in peace, Lupos. Uh, Ray Ray XFR. The Wheelhouse. Something like that. Matunic. 
Yeah. Something like ocean that. Ocean Mist. Ocean Mist. Pat, you love Ocean Mist. Pat love behind ocean the mist. camera over there. We love you, <laughs> buddy. Events. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's get um. Why don't you switch seats mm-hmm, here for mm-hmm, a second, mm-hmm. my friends? Let's see how this exchange goes. Nice. They went in opposite directions. I like it. I like it clockwise. Yeah. Why don't you uh, put that mic a little closer to your beautiful face? You comfortable with me saying that? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I'm comfortable. My my mom says that to me. It's like you and my mom. Well, I'm not your mom, mom. but I I do love you. I'm just saying, you know. That'd be some shit if we figured that out today. Imagine. (laughs) That'd be different. (laughs) That'd be different. Yeah, that'd be different. Uh, now that we got that out of the way, yeah, yeah. thanks. Mom. Who are you? What, what's your What's your name? <laughs> uh, my name is uh, Demean Cyron. Demean, but but really, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't don't be sorry. My name, don't say my name sorry is uh, Demean Cyron. Demean Cyron. Yeah. yeah, you got a middle name, Demean Cyron. Uh, Cyron is my middle name. That's your. You're not giving us the last name. No, nah, we don't throw guns. We're holding right. out. <laughs> We're holding I out. I can tell you, you know, many, uh, I have many aliases, but yeah. Demean Cyron is is my moniker as we speak. Yeah. Right on. All right. Mm-hmm. So what's dirty, yes. dirty? Uh, dirty, dirty. Because you look is, very clean. Is a, a rap. You smell good. <laughs> Thank you. It, I uh, I know. It's a yeah. rap duel. I'm dirty. He's dirty like the tip of your piss hand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And dirty. Um, yeah. Rest in peace. And we're, dirty we're a hip hop group from um, Southern New England, we like to say. He's from Southern New Bedford, New, England. New Bedford, Massachusetts. Yeah, yeah. But our, our rap group started so in, in Providence, Rhode Island. Providence, that's what it says on the. Uh, the MySpace page, home yes, base. Yes, <laughs> it would say it on MySpace. Uh, nah, nah. Every social. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we started in Providence, Rhode Island. Yeah. And uh, we like to think that our, our act is um, focused on making hip-hop music that's conscious, uh, comical. Comical. Is comedy involved? Yeah. I what's like it, that. I one? like this. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, con- and controversial. Controversial so comedy controversy, hip-hop. Controversy. Uh, Comedy. Are you also like doing stand up comedy? Not at all. Not at all. No, no. Not he's very funny. I he's mean, very so funny. He, he is. says. He's he is. But like funny. when he writes, when, listen, what I want to say is when he writes like funny bars, they are funny. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. I do know what you mean because so, yeah. when I laugh, things are funny. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, that's, that's so, funny. Right? Yeah, that's how yeah. that works for me anyway. <laughs> Oh no, 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 no! Well, I if it's truly funny, I will burst out loud. Like if I'm watching Larry David on Curb Your Enthusiasm, it's funny. I might, I might actually go <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like downstairs by myself, slapping the arm of the chair. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, I'm taking no, this it's off fine. track. No, yeah, no, you're, you're fine. I, you're I fine. didn't know that there was comedy involved in it. There so, is. We, well, we focus on those things. Uh, in in a manner that's provocative, the idea yeah. is to bring the dirt to the surface. That's yeah. what we try to focus on. So, so how how are you actually bringing the dirt to the surface? Subject matter play, in, no, in our rhyme form. Oh, I sorry. mean, I mean, like, are you performing in front of live audiences and delivering the dirt like directly to their faces? Like, here's the dirt, or is it through recorded music? Like, how how you getting? The, how you? Distro in the dirt. <laughs> I, I I think we do both. We do, we do, both. do both. We record music, We're hitting them from uh, every we angle. We release projects and uh, we make videos and we yeah. do live performances and we also do sort of community work. We have uh, histories of doing activists and community. What do you mean work. you care? We do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do. See this. There's a problem a that exists in the world today. And that is that everybody thinks that everything is terrible and everybody's running around being the worst person. But I'm telling y'all, and I think a lot of people will stand by my side as I say so, if you step outside into the world and actually integrate with human beings, you'll see there's a lot of good going on and there's a lot of good people. Agreed. That's it. That's my small speech there. And you know what? That's one of you know one of the things. Get out of your house. Yeah. One of the things that you know is our philosophy as a group. We understand yeah. that exact dynamic. That so what are you doing? To, like, what, talk to me about some of the. Because I'm into <sighs> this. I'm a nice guy. Okay. So, 
what are you doing for this? Like, h- how are you actually helping? You said some activism stuff. I said, we, we have histories with activist yeah. work. I yeah. used to work for a community organiza- organization, yeah. as did he, for many years. Uh, and I should say my first sort of hip-hop act would be called the Conscious Hip-Hop Ooh, Act. Yeah. So I've sort of always done um, community work. Yeah. You know, the amount of free performances for little kids. I, yeah, man. You know, I, I couldn't count them. To be honest, so I can't help but when I look at you, yeah. demean, demean, yes, that I see a lot of purple, and then amidst the purple, with yes. great definition, extreme contrast, it says L's. Yeah, word. You know what L's represent? I know what, what L's think? are. What do you think L's are? What do I think L's are? Yeah. I think that they're blunt, but exactly. I. I, exactly. This is the world that I come from, that right, I grew exactly. up in. I'm glad that you like, tuned what do you into mean, that. What Some bro. people would read it and not understand it, so I'm, I'm glad you tuned into that. So yeah, you're wise beyond your years. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was um, uh, my friend. I got I, some years. <laughs> uh, uh, my colleague and I, my business partner, my man, my brother, we started a, a premium pre-roll blunt company in the state of Rhode Island. Ooh. Called Els, uh, E-L-Z. Els. See, this is the logo. Yeah. Uh, it's a pretty little black box. Yep. Uh, we sell um, infused blunts, 100% hemp leaf. There's a, a glass filter, a hand rolled, uh, hand curated. And the whole brand is designed. Um, what do you mean uh, infused? Is, is it cannabis? Is it actually it's THC? THC yeah, and then you're yeah, infusing. Yeah. So Something we use, else into we it? use premium flour. Yep. Okay. We, we break it up, you know, put on gloves and break it by our fingertips. Yep. And then uh, you mean you're actually putting in the work? We are most <laughs> yeah. certainly the old-fashioned way, as Look we like to that. say. Look at that. And then basically, you know, it's a sort of proprietary system, but we soak it in oil, mm-hmm. and then we roll it. We we soak it in uh, premium. Full spectrum THC oil, usually strain specifics. So, in other words. If I had, let's say, this blue guy's a dream, hippie, isn't he? Right. If, <laughs> if I had blue these dream, hippies, yeah. And uh, we take blue dream and yeah. we'll take blue dream oil. Yep. Put them together and put it inside a blunt. Pat over there behind the camera, he's kind of speaking your language when he talks about all these different strains yeah. and, and what have you. Right. Yeah. Bags uh, lettered upstairs on numbered. <laughs> 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 easy now, <laughs> easy. <laughs> Just kidding. Not here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, He's really happen. good at providing false information. <laughs> <laughs> His lawyer knows that. <laughs> yeah, Nothing good wild. happens in a bar after 10. <laughs> wow. uh, so, yeah, we definitely, just to know by from, you know, legally legally sanctioned growers in the state of Rhode Island. I know, I know. Um, to produce our products. So we work with some fabulous partners. Yeah. And, again, it's a labor of love because... Um, what do you mean? You're not balling out? Uh, you know, like not as of yet. I mean, may, maybe it's the goal, but I want to say it's a hard work. We're a very small company. It's just h- yeah. him and myself. But you like it? Uh, love it. You I love it. it. I love it. That's um, why you said labor of love. Yeah, we, we love it. And, and you know what it is? I never <laughs> conceived after all these years of sitting around smoking blunts. Uh, I never conceived this idea that I would turn into a company that him and I own. And you Because know, you never ever before this sold any cannabis illegally let me say this say um, this you ready to mean i'm ready you ready for this i hope it doesn't i was hurt a, too i was much. a horrible drug dealer <laughs> <laughs> no, matter, no matter what drug that's i what tried Ch- to sell that's what charlie tuna said uh, yeah uh, no matter what drug i tried to sell uh just let's just say it didn't personal go, it didn't go well Personal use. So I had to learn this. That's not for me. You know, that illegal getting money with, by selling drugs wasn't. I think that's didn't one work of the well crack commandments. Me. Yeah, all of the yeah. above, right? Yeah, 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 it didn't work well for me. <laughs> it's working much better now that it's sort of structured and I'm more mature. It's more structured. Yeah, it's a lot more. He'll structured. slap you up real quick, take that chain off, knock yeah, you one true, time in true. the head Big with boss it. Man like, is yo, no joke. Claire, we got to keep no you. Listen joke. to me. You're limited to 12 L's a day. You know what it is? It's just the 12 di- L's. I'm sorry. There's something right. there. It's the Join di- the 12 L's club, right? The 12, Come on, son. The 12 L's of Christmas? Yeah, yo. We are. <laughs> yeah, I better get some credit. Yeah, yeah. Listen, Y'all seen it. If we, if we do it, if, if we do it, then yeah. 
What do you mean? It'll if, be like twelve different flavors. Yo, when all different not boxes. If, when you yo. do it. When Come you on. do it, well, yeah, one of the flavors just got to be L's enjoy your life. Let's Last go. year we did uh, <laughs> L's on the shelves. You know that little L's, <laughs> that little elf, but it was L's on the shelves. I uh, love that. The calendar is 25 days of Christmas. Oh. You, know, you get a chocolate, you get a nice little bud. So. Yeah. Nice little bud. Bud in the chocolate? Right. What? And he's saying instead of the chocolate, it'll be you a, get a, bud. a nug. Yeah, a little nug. I like right that. There. And people burn would be into that. that. There's day. a lot of people. <laughs> of course they would. Of co- I mean, Listen, actually, you know what? They you might like it. <laughs> Listen. Either start your day with that. All right, let's stop. I'm sorry. It's okay. Sorry. 25 it's okay. nugs of crisp, man. So that's it. That's what we do. We we, we sell uh, premium pre-roll blunts to the dispensaries in the state of Rhode Island. And And is that an easy process to start? No. No, it wasn't. No, not at all. How tall are you? Six two. Six two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It was very difficult, actually. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what I'm saying? It was. It was quite difficult. But we're glad to say that it's progressing. You know, part of the the issue is it it works very well. Our product is is pretty successful. Yeah. And that was something uh, as as business partners that we didn't totally prepare for. Okay. So it's, um, not, it's one thing if you're making something and you got to push it and you know. Right. So it's once it starts working, if, growth, if, and if, a lot of people don't understand that growth is one of the more challenging things with any business. Mm. It's hard to be able to take what you were able to supply, and now it's we need tenfold in order mm. for this to succeed. Exactly. How do we do that? Exactly. We don't have the money yet, but we need to get this product out there. And people are always confused. They're like, wait, so you're selling out of everything? But you need money, mm. and and this is a pro. Like, what's the problem? Mm. Yeah. Yep. So I that's get it. Yeah. That's exactly where yeah. we're at. Uh, well, we're transitioning hopefully yep. to the next phase, but we're coming up on one year anniversary. Congratulations, my man. Congratulations. Uh, uh, September fifteenth, yep. which marks the date of our first in store last year. I'm sorry, the sixteenth marks the date of our first in store last year. And that on that day, we went to the in-store with how many pieces? 50 pieces. That's what they wanted. 50. 50 pieces. Yeah. And we sold out in two hours Woo! that first day. And so we, we were like, really excited. Oh, we're on this. Uh, and, uh, you know, manifestations, you know, I remember talking to him that day, like, oh, this time next year, I want to be somewhere in the ballpark of, you know, 900,000 blunts a week. And that's exactly where we're at. That's where you're at? It's pretty good, man. But it's like hard that. work. We got to sit there and, you know, hunch back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little room. Me and him cracking jokes. And you get nothing without hustling hard uh, work. Yeah, it's hard work. So War is necessary. Yeah. That's what else is, man. Mm-hmm. That's what else. And as far as us, we're a hip-hop group, Dirty Dirty. So we feel like the, the, the brand and, and what we're pushing aligns with what we know. And you got so you're ultimately like building a lifestyle. The music, repping this on the stage, like you got a whole vibe going on. That's exactly what we would like to uh, to project and exemplify, if you will. Well, that's what you've done here. Mm. So you're doing it. Thank you. I appreciate your time. No, I appreciate your time. Michael's the illest, yo. I like <laughs> He's like, this guy's really looking at That's me. That's right. Yeah. No, I'm good with that, man. But you're, you're, you're an ill character, man. Is that yeah. a positive thing? I think I so. I feel yeah. good about I'm, it. I'm, I'm, yo, I'm yeah, ill. I'm compelled. I'm too ill. I yeah. represent Park Hill. Yeah. See my face <laughs> on a $20 yeah. bill. Cash it in <laughs> and get $10 back. back. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> so I take that as a positive. It is a, it is a po- For me, as an artist and as somebody yeah. who's compelled by interesting people, yeah. You're a very interesting thank you. person. You are too. Oh, well, thank you. I can yeah. tell there's a lot of thoughts that go on in that. One hundred percent. I do. I do spend individual. a lot of time. I do yeah. spend a lot of time absorbing information. Yeah. I mean, a lot of time thinking too. I do. Yeah. I do. He would tell you that I probably overthink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is true. To don't, his, just to don't his future credit. think. And what does that? Do, what does that mean? Well, when I say future think, I I mean a whole lot of people spend a lot of their time thinking about what is going to go wrong mm. in the time to come mm. in the future right mm. so one of the things that one of the things that i speak mm. about as i speak all over this beautiful country is if you're going to waste your time 
and future think. And by that, I mean not actually operate within this moment that we're living in, right? Because mm-hmm. this is the time right now. Mm-hmm. That's when you can feel the best, right? So if you are going to spend your time, to put it in a more uh, positive phrasing if you're going to spend your time future thinking Mm. please think about all the things that are going to go right because Mm. for some reason that does not happen it's no percentage of the people we think about the future with worry concern of the things that are going to go wrong all i'm saying is if you're going to spend your time thinking about the future think about all the great things that are going to happen to you right that's what so, I'm saying, player. I, 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 you know, I try to that think that it. way. Word is born. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Yeah. I do. I try to think that way. Sometimes it goes above, beyond, <laughs> way too far, and I got to ground myself. But, yeah. Stay I grounded. Do. I try. Yeah. You know. seems like you're doing a good job. You seem pretty even to me. Uh, I got this guy. He keeps me. He keeps me. Uh, Who's this guy? What's his name? Balance. This is Lord Gremothy. Let's get Lord, Lord Gremothy. Lord Gremothy. Lord Gremothy. All right, we'll get some bars going in a little bit. I'm so excited. This guy's shirt, it's just like, I'm, I can hardly. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll I'm surprised you it. didn't. We'll no hand L. deliver it. Because the, guy the, the guys from L's are here, but there's no L's present. We get you that know? a lot. <laughs> I know, like, you're crossing state lines, whatever. Yeah. But, but mm-hmm. you, we're on we're on tour. We we weren't trying to like get yeah, me. Very small, um, black owned company. They can't hear you. I'm sorry. You tell them. We're a very small black owned company. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and we we, are not we, we make sure we stay off the line. radar. You know what I'm saying? And right, so more importantly, wait. you know, we want to make sure that we're doing business correctly, and you know, I, I think play by the rules. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah. We com- comply when we have to, basically. Yeah. You know, because again, like we. We're going against the grain. We're doing things that we didn't even think are possible. You know yeah. what I mean? So for us, we're making sure that we're crossing our T's, dotting our I's, and you know, which I don't even. Do and we get that a lot. You know what I mean? Like, like, like he said, I'm from New Bedford, Mass. You know, so you know, even in Providence, What's it like out there in New Bedford. I mean, it's a lot different from what I grew up with now, which is What's positively. Sense? You know what I mean? There's a lot more things going on in that city. Um, than good things. Good saying? things. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a lot more businesses, a lot more um activities happening. You know, yeah. youth centers. Um, not. Like I had, you know what I mean? Like Coffee it was, shops. yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. A little, <laughs> little bistros, gentrification. A lot of it is happening right now. So, Our district. You know, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. you know, me, me and this dude. Great. If we, if we, you know, counted and got a nickel for every time someone asked us for a free blunt or, yo, can you just go to the Wait, dispensary and grab it? That- <laughs> no, I'm explaining to you our oh, oh, right, struggle right, okay, with okay, this, okay. you know what I'm saying? Because people don't understand, like, especially because we've been weed heads all our life. <laughs> Ain't no weed dealer of mine give me no free samples. So, like, why you continuously being like, yo, can I get a free L? So part of that is cool. So, like, nah, like, we're in six out of seven dispensaries in Rhode Island. Look at you know you. what I mean? So it's like, that's, uh, that's a small we're not, place, we're not going to compromise our yeah. business for people's convenience with just getting free product from us, whether... Like and, and Listen, a lot of people, what you know what I mean. Say is stop asking for L's. Yeah, man. That's it. All right. More importantly, go to the, go store. To the store. We're not saying don't ask for L's. We want like y'all a to ask. Adult. <laughs> we want y'all to ask for L's. Just you know, go I don't to the store. I've ever been to a. Because <laughs> I, because a lot of people don't. But you know, at the end of the day, like, it, it, it you. I get it from either side. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But. When I go to the dispensary, I do like the fact that I know that it's tested by the state. I know exactly yeah. what strain I'm getting. Yeah. I get I get bamboozled out on these streets sometimes. You know what yeah, I mean? Man. Yo, I got that AK baby. No, you don't. You know what I mean? This don't taste like yeah, that. But I got you know what I mean? Now, like so you know. It don't so <laughs> and that's what it is. Yeah. It, it don't matter to them, yeah. but it matters to us. And I think you know our, our clientele knows that. I think they love the fact that it's handmade. Literally, like we prefabricate the glass tips with the hemp leaves. We break everything yeah. up. We infuse with the oils, and we package it, stamp it, all that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we do all of our marketing, and to be able to balance the music and kind of like use that as like a little bit of a catapult, 
yeah. to also promote Use the brands. Use your lanes, man. It, it, it's a beautiful Yo, you thing. You got no lanes. You got nothing. Yeah. So it, take it, advantage of those lanes. It was a brilliant idea. You know what I mean? He sometimes can say it was stupid because of how much work we got to put in. But I think the fact that people what do you know mean? it's a lot on? of fucking work, bro. No, 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 no. He's not a down. He's not a Danny Downer. He was more like. We ne- we didn't realize how Danny much. Downer, if people say I'm that, not gonna call him Debbie. I missed that. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna call him a Debbie Downer. You know what I mean? He's a. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got it. <laughs> I see what you said that. Now I remember. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Debbie. So. You didn't want to so, call him Debbie. All right. Yeah. So okay. like, you know, being that different because there's a lot of you know not not to put shade on anybody else's company. You know what I mean? But or, about, you're about to. Nah. <laughs> No, I'm not. <laughs> it's different between getting something handmade or made from a factory. You Indeed, can tell that yes. with food. You could do tell that 100% with any supporters. type of product. So yes. when people know we're actually Absolutely. doing it by hand, they're like, wow, yeah, I want that. And on top of that, the smoothness of when you're taking the drag because of the glass filter yeah. and how slow it burns with the oil and the oh, and the premium wow. bond. Exactly. So I think our our product. Yeah, man, come through. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> but but I think that alone separates our product and, and makes it more unique. It makes it more of like a an exclusive like premium experience like one of our coin phrases is treat yourself you deserve it you know what i mean because people do deserve to get something that's quality something that's really made for the people by the people for people who remember l's you know what i mean like smoking those l's and now they're doing it in a more of a healthier way because there's absolutely no like tobacco adulterants in our product you know what i mean yeah, man. And uh, can we rewind to what was your name again? My name is Lord Grimothy. <laughs> What's this? AKA Lord my Lord. Lord. My Lord. Lord yes, Grimothy. Lord Grimothy. Oh, oh, oh. In case y'all your grace. Yes. Lord Grimothy. Yeah, so it's a pleasure to have you in the room. I'm blessed whole, to be like, here, man. And you got right into the seat. Ah, uh, the fire. hot seat. Yeah. <laughs> get it. I got to get this out. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, uh, hello. Hi. <laughs> It's a pleasure <laughs> to communicate with Absolutely. you. Absolutely. It was an yeah. honor to meet you, yeah. man. You're an awesome that dude, bro. wonderful. Yeah, so um, that name well, originates that, see, from... I feel like... Sorry to say this, but I feel like we're hiding a little bit of your face, and I'd like to see more of it by eat, something. Something like that, yeah. You're pushing that down Too a little short. bit. You go, what do you push the thing down? You know, there's options. Oh, oh, there we go. Hey. Yeah. Look at that. Right. He got a mouth. I got a beautiful yeah. smile yeah. blocking yeah. from the world. You know what I'm wow, saying? Look at those teeth. But uh, hey, boy, you had it cost my money grandma a lot. Rest in peace, baby. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Yeah, I'm braces. Just looking at people's teeth like they have yeah. enough money to get braces. Get me? <laughs> my generation, they're keeping you had them to pay clean. Two thousand dollars for that. Y'all, my legit. Like, Son, he knows the vibe. Two thousand. Stick with the crooked teeth. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Nah, that mass health life. You know what I mean? I know yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Lord Gremothy originated from uh. One of my stage names, which was Gremlin. Um, then I became Dirty Furby when we joined Dirty Dirty. Dirty Dirty. Yeah, the com- comedy. Comedy. Exactly. Some rewinding. Rewind. Yeah. Like Gremlin. Yeah. Like, what's so up, Gremlin. Like what was that? I like came a up real nickname. In your yeah. Life? I I was always given my nicknames. I never came up on Grammy Grem is another one of mine. Crazy mm-hmm. that you knew that. This guy gave me that name Jeez. and. Uh, Grammy Grum, you know what I mean? Because he's like, yo, we tapped in, son, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a little more grimy. <laughs> Don't feed him. So, a funny story about how I got Gremlin. Like, I, I came up as a battle rapper, and... Um, what do you mean? Like, oh, I used like to battle, battle nah, like, like, over a beat, with the beat. in the yeah. middle of the street, in the school, people banging on tables. It didn't matter, like... This is your thing? This, I, I do this. Yeah, man. I get it. You know what I mean? So, I came from that cloth. You know what I mean? Like, so, in the moment, like, actually yep. referencing real yep. talking about not your outfits, nothing. Yeah, people, not writing and doing... Some lines yeah. Got, but for the most part... Mm-hmm. I could do that. Like, if you put me in a battle league and I had to research an opponent for three months and come up with three verses that are five minutes yeah, long yeah, and yeah, memorize. Yeah. I could probably do that. But I'd rather spit off the dome. Yeah. You know what I mean? When it comes to that element of Did battle. Did ever lead to getting punched in the face? I never got punched in the face. Like, <laughs> over rapping. Well, over yeah. rapping. I, I never really even got into fights like that. I'm not that type of dude. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. miss me with all that. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, But um, I think 
the way my style is is kind of like on some b-boy shit you know what i mean like the way i rap i attack a beat i'm not like your typical mc that goes by the regular patterns i like riding the percussions and then going back to the kick and then riding the vocal samples and then tying it all in and creating a new lane doing different sequences when i write consider other b-boy rappers to be Mm, that's a good question um Let me soak in this compliment. If we're gonna throw Damn, it back, it good to be if we're gonna throw it back, I would yeah. say like <laughs> I'm gonna go old school and then like middle and then new. I would say like out of like Chub Rock and Daddy Kane, yep. and then like in the era that I grew up in, I would say like you know, and then like Red Man, well, I would say has a little bit of a b boy flavor. Yeah, um, 100%. LZI Black Thaw, MF thing. Doom, you know what I'm saying? People yeah. that just find their own lanes and just hit it. You know what I mean? All I would right, like so to kind of like. Let's go hit it. Let's hit it. Oh. Bring it to me, boy. You know what's okay. coming? Hey, yo, it's Gremlin. I reckon my level of epinephrine is connected to the percussions and BPMs per second ration beats. My athletic, poetic masterpiece keeps fans gassed for weeks. Even your ratchet niece knows the skills grow at a rapid speed with tenacity. If the human anatomy is symbolic to a battery, I'm charged up. Never running low or imploding. Quoting the gods before my time disowning. You fake MCs who don't trigger the five senses. Or who can't write an educated, credible sentence These lines demonstrate a precursor Two musicians who are hard workers Incredible researchers Throw back like Nextel chirpers Outrageous While the rest of the rap world stays ostentatious I tear through pages Grem's a courageous individual Very optimistic, far from cynical That's 16 Grammy yeah. Cause I can go And that's I can how go. you stick to 16 Yeah <laughs> I, I respect that though I mean, He's like oh you want 16 He has 48 You know what I mean I like that I like that but though how do you, Why is there already a predetermined length for the verse I don't understand I know You asked for a 16 So I was I like know, let me nah, keep nah, it nah, nah. Sure. I know a lot but of no, yeah, I, I want I want like, I could go forever, bro. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? I don't wanna like Grammy bore you Graham. guys. You know what I mean? Yeah, Graham. Yeah, but Dirty Dirty is the click, man. We're the crew. How do we connect with the click? We are we, everywhere, the man. Graham situation for the click. The so click. this is how we spell click. our confusing click. name. Click. <laughs> Ain't nobody. It's um Capital D I R T Y. Capital D U R. D I E. That's how you spell our name. If you Google us, you could get us on YouTube. We're on Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, Title, Pandora, Bandcamp. Dirty, 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 dirty. Second dirty is on IG. R D I E. D I E. Yup. You can find us on Instagram. Die. All right, like fur with a D. You can find us on Instagram. Dirty, dirty hip hop. Like no, don't say that. No, no. Dirty, dirty. You got it. Yeah, man. We just out so here what's out there man. for music? Is there albums? Albums. Yeah, we got albums, albums, collabs. We got we got a solid little catalog. You know what I mean? And we're blessed to be rocking with Landon Words well on this tour. You know what I mean? I love it. Uh, for his Northeast leg of the Remember the Brief tour. It's been fun. We hit up Canada, trickling down through New England. Now we're going to close out these last couple shows with Sky A Zoo. And um, yeah, man, it's pretty epic. We're we're very excited, and I think the good thing about Dirty Dirty is that a lot of our energy and a lot of our um, nuances come yeah, on stage. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like we're very stage driven. Sometimes we even write with the you don't purpose. Stand- Facing the wall behind the stage with your head down. If that's moving. part of our act, yeah. If it's part, of the act, yeah, you <laughs> absolutely. You know what I'm saying. Part of the show. Yeah, we. So you're one of these believers, which I love, that it actually is entertainment. Absolutely. Right? So if you're gonna be on the stage, you should be putting on a stage show, right? A hundred percent. With me, especially yeah. with rap music, yeah. we were one of the very few at the time that was really against rappers rapping over their lyrics. I still oh, am still, but till still this day, so and it's disgusting. Yo, and what's some crazy? Of your favorite rap exactly. <laughs> so it's hard for these kids to determine hey, you know whether you or not. <laughs> <laughs> It's real though, it's real, and you've seen it. You know what I mean? Like all of us have seen it, and it's hard to make these it's kids awkward. It's understand. Just like awkward. Like sometimes awkward to like be next to the person after. I'm like, what? Legit, you man. That? You're getting paid how much, and you did what, bro? Like, yeah, like, well, that's just like in so many ways. It's like mailing it in. Like you just you, you don't have to prepare in the same way. You don't. You don't have to care in yeah. the same way. I'm you know cool with I mean? like the chorus being there. Like it comes around. 
and that hype is there. It gives you a second to breathe because you're yeah. putting in work. Like when you see a Nas show, how he's been doing it. Um, yeah, because you need that breath, especially if fine. you're by yourself. And, and it, it's good for the stage show for when that yeah. massive chorus comes back in. But when it comes down to the human again, even if there's some ad libs in there, because the dude is prepared and he's on point and he's going to be dead on with those ad libs, mm -hmm. I respect that. But yeah. the whole thing is there. It's ultimately the studio song is playing and the vocals are just louder than it. It's too yeah. much for me. I could tell you're a fellow curator as well, so yeah. you could relate to this, yeah. man. Like, when you try to put on a show, you you want to do it for the community's sake, and at the same time, you also want to, you know, kind of guide the youth on how to really rock it and be like, yeah. yo, I can't hear you, my guy. When you got seven people on stage with mics all talking over each other while the song is playing entirely in the back, as a fan, I'm listening to the song. If I wanted to listen to the song, I'd be smoking in my car or chilling on my couch listening to Spotify. You made a mistake. I be smoking L's in my car. Hey, <laughs> you know the vibes. Sleeping, sleeping. I, 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 I didn't. I well, slept I'm here, I'm on the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, at the same time, it's like I, I, I still love giving the opportunity to to people to come up the way I did. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. when I was coming up, you didn't just have an opportunity. You didn't just right, have right. an opportunity to put your music online. You really had to be out there. You had to like make noise however you can, whether it's going to a party and just starting a cipher in the corner yeah. or going to the radio show and being like, hey, play my song, play my song. Or, yeah. you know, just traveling, going to different spaces. Driving an 88 point. Yeah. It wasn't, yeah. There wasn't no pay to play yeah. when we were coming up. You know what I mean? There wasn't these things that mm, we struggled. Wrong on yeah, man. Play, though. There yeah, was well, definitely yeah. that going on. One hundred percent. Tell you, you know, you but know. we're blessed to still be Boston, relevant. What you think is going on in the Boston radio airwaves during that era was people just afraid not to play things. Yeah. I bet. <laughs> I bet, man. But you know, we're we're blessed to be at a time where we're still out here, still making good music that people are receptive to. And one thing about Dirty Dirty's music specifically is that we don't curse. So a lot of people don't know that last 15 years. You know, I'm going to go ahead and say that because of the name being Dirty Dirty and that you said it was provocative and that you said that it was comedic, that I just intrinsically assumed that there was cursing involved. Nope. But I did with that assume that it was playful. Yes. Whatever that means. You know what I'm saying, yep. right? It's like, yep. You ain't like making me uncomfortable by swearing at me. You know, yeah, and it, that's no exactly what it is. It, it, it was fun for us. We, you like we, rocking out to NF too? Um, you listen to any of that? Not too much. What? What's you NF? Listen to NF? Yeah, what's uh, NF? It's a guy that doesn't swear. That's it. Oh, it's a guy that don't swear. Oh, Rapper. nah, I don't. Yeah. I would like to though. But he's he's in the conscious category. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I, like you know. We we did it for two purposes. One, to challenge us as writers, and two, so that the radio or even the listeners have no excuse to not play us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, see, yeah, some of our music has some adult content in it, yeah. but at the end of the day, you could play it on the radio. And we used to get what all, kind of adult content? I mean, we, we say, about? you know, we talk about, you know. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna leave it right there. You know what I'm saying? And then we put the. Yeah. Butter it up, you know what I mean? Oh, there's butter involved, yeah. too. <laughs> Damn. This is getting but, sincere. But nah, man, yeah. um, we, 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 we pride ourselves in that because a lot of people don't even get, like, can't even realize that because of how raw our music is. And that's yeah. what I love the most yeah. is that we're still raw with our approach and the way that we come at it that you can't even tell yeah. that we're not swearing. And that's the important thing because... Yeah. You know, I, it feels good yeah, to be able to play back my music I, to yeah. my child. You know what I mean? Yeah. To be like, yeah, listen to what your dad made. And he's like, oh, wow. You know what I mean? Like, that feels oh, good to me. That. Yeah. yeah, it does. Yeah. Indeed. Um, I'd like to say that it's been a pleasure talking to you. It was a very, yeah. and very pleasure. As for the well. L's organization, this is the one and two, but I know you're both on the same level at L's, but you guys are 
the, the business, machine. right? Yes. You know, the, I know there's some people with you. You got a team. We have we, we, we do have partners. We got a team. We got people with us. We got partners. We yes. got crew. All the things, but you, but you guys are the founders. Yeah, we. Of this it's, it's literally, it's YouTube. literally just me and him with our partners. A shout out to our partners, so the Carvis Company. You know what I'm saying? I started this because I want to say I'm proud of you guys. Thank you for what it's worth coming from me Thank over you. here. I think that it's we really appreciate that. Thank you. When people actually have a goal, a thought, a vision, and instead of just like talking about it that they actually are about it that you, you take that step and set it in motion because like so many things in life you either do it or you don't and people will come up to you and they're probably doing this now and they'll be like oh you guys are living the dream or oh, what a great thing you have going on but in your head in the back you know yeah, well, you could just step up and do something. Mm -hmm. That's the defining thing. So the massive thing is that the both of you know each other first and that you both have this in you. Mm -hmm. And the secondary thing is actually that you have an exceptional product with a great brand and all that. So yes, that, we're yeah. very blessed, man. And thank you for because saying that, one, too. one, there is no two. Damn right. So you could have this great brand, but you guys could just be lying around in your bedroom Damn right. rubbing your feet together. With Damn this, right. Who cares? That's the dirty work, man. Yeah. That's the difference. You and know what I mean? Dirty. Exactly, bro. You know yeah, the vibes, really. man. I appreciate it. I love it. you. Appreciate you, man. Let's get you back in this seat one time here, Lynn and Ant. Oh, you can go walk outside, do whatever you want to do. You got it. So... Lant, well, thanks for bringing these nice people with oh, you. Oh, yeah, man. Then, yeah. Yeah, they're incredible, man. Yeah. What's it say on your shirt? Oh, shoot. I did a thing. Oh, on shoot. Monday of the Minds. Monday of the Minds. Monday of the Minds. It's a um, community out in Portland, Maine. Uh, they do hip hop. It's every Monday. I love Portland, Maine. Yeah, Patrick, yeah. what do you think about Portland, what do you Maine, think about brother? Pa yeah. I love Portland, Maine myself. Um, okay. You've had okay. some times out there. Great from what times. I what kind of time are you talking about, Pat? <laughs> you know, David Byrne, the State Theater, you know? Hey! Yeah. Yeah. I got right some on. good friends there, too, as well. That's yeah. awesome, man. You know? Yeah. So what you're in Portland, Maine. And yeah, it was it Monday, Monday night, night hip hop yeah, series? Monday Where does night. that happen? Um Who's so, running it? Bro, so Mars. My man Stay on Mars. Stay on Mars? Yeah, yep, Yo. that's, his, that's his rap name, man. Right on. He's super I like dope. It. He's uh he's also a DJ, but bro, like he's been holding it down for about eight years. Eight years straight, just killing it every Monday. No um doubt. at the Flask Lounge and other other various venues. I think the last time the time before last that I went, I was there um two at two times ago? Yeah, two times ago. Look I was at a boutique, a boutique um thrift shop. That math in me. And it was dope. It was very dope. Yeah. So like people are there. wait. Like you, people are like right up with you. You're on the floor. Yeah, and they're actually. Yeah, like, it's bright in there. Yeah, and they're listening. And they're listening. So they're I, listening I, intently. You had a clip from one of these places, right? You put out a clip from. Yeah, one yeah, of them. I yeah, did. yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Hell yeah. Right. He's yeah, like, man. You staying up with me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I check on you. I check. on The love you. is real. It is, you man. Know? It always has been, man. Yeah. Um, because we have met. Never before today, right? This is our first. This is the first meeting. I love you. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I held it for a little too long. <laughs> Get back. Get back. <laughs> no, no. I'm just playing, uh, with, you. I'm playing with you. Because <laughs> we, we made some music together. Yeah. 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 I was uh, I was doing a whole lot of songs. I was doing a whole lot of features because I was in a whole lot of trouble. Yeah. And I you needed were in a, to. You were in a tough spot. <laughs> yeah. Then. Yeah. Yeah. I needed yeah. to get out of that spot. So. Oh, oh no. But, down. Yep. So I ended up um I ended up meeting you that way. And yeah. uh and I had song after song after song after song that I was doing, my brain was hurting. Yeah. And then um I heard your shit and I was like, Oh my god, this is this is actually <laughs> I mean not to say that everybody else wasn't dope, but yeah. this was dope. <laughs> this was super dope and the guy These guys me. are too nice to me. <laughs> <laughs> if I could blush, I would. <laughs> it's just like I I wish I could. Well, I'm glad yeah. it made you feel something. Yeah, yeah. I did. But, but I did. it was, yeah, yeah. dude. No, but no, it was fun. And we made another song. We made we made a couple yeah. songs. Yeah, and I was, yeah. what, what was the thing? ABCs, what I it do was, with you? One, two, threes, what was the Yeah, jam? one, I can't remember. It was an old, yeah. old song. Um, yeah. It was on one of my albums, though. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, so we, 
Yeah, man. That's how we, we connected through uh-huh. music. Through now music. we're here together today. Here. You're on tour. Yeah. That's why you're able to just swing through here. Tell me about the tour. Where did it go? Where is it going? Man, you know Who what? Who the hell puts it together? Every so there's a couple of different people, man. There's a lot of people behind the scenes. Um, I have a uh, I have a I have an agent, and yeah. then I also have a uh, a manager. Who's the Don Avalar? Is no, that a man. Guy? We actually don't work together anymore. You don't? Man. No, 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 no. Because the thing is, like you were saying, you haven't put out a video in a while. It's just yeah. like when I look at the videos, he's involved with half of them. Did that yeah. go bad? Did it, I bring it, up a sour thing? No. <laughs> yeah. For me. Uh, <laughs> Let him Is, cook. Am I, conti- am I continuing to cook right now, Donnie? No, nah, man. Donnie, pay close attention to <laughs> how he handles this situation. And then hey, you'll man, know something. You know, uh, I don't think that it went sour. It didn't do anything. I just, um, I. I I have just kind of pivoted. Yeah, I pivoted, man. I had a different uh, like, idea of how uh, people sh- around you should be treated, um, and, there and so there it is, you know. Yeah. So, okay. but so either way, I am. I I'm on this tour. I'm on this tour, and uh, yeah, I'm, who's putting it together? That's where we're at. You got agencies. You so, got just yeah, friends. yeah. If we so for instance with. A lot of the times, if it's a bigger artist with yeah. me, then the agency will get involved. Um, yeah. Shout out to Vice. Vice does a lot of that stuff with, yeah. say, for me, me or Sky Zoo or me or whoever else is on the the agency that you see me with, you know. Yeah. But then out, outside of that, um, it's just a small team. Um, my boy Jay. Jay does a lot. You know yeah, what I mean? Jay. Um, <laughs> he lives out in Chicago. Um, Sarla does a lot. Um, I do a lot of the work to a lot of the footwork. Yeah. So it's just like a, it's, it's a DIY situation. Um, and it's a whole lot of a, a lot, a lot, a lot of planning. You know what I mean? So it's just you're a, a very organized individual. No, I'm not. <laughs> I will not sit I on this camera and lie to you. <laughs> what do you mean? No, no I'm military. not. No, there's other people that are involved. I was going to see if you was, would go with it. No, 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 I'm not. not. I won't. Not mm. too organized. Very, no, dude. Very nice people, person. If there's people that, are, that that know me personally. And then they watch this and tell, and they see me say that they're gonna be like, "Come on, bro, what are you doing?" Yeah, <laughs> I'm, not, yeah, I'm, not that. I'm not that. Good person. Yeah, I'm not that. Disaster. <laughs> yeah. Disaster. Focus, but yeah, though, amidst it all. But no, so I, um, so I started off in Atlanta um, because I, this is where I live, and yeah, I just drove base. up to Knoxville. We picked up. There's another group with us, but they're not here today. Yeah. But um, they pick, we picked them up from Knoxville. Drove from Knoxville to Cleveland. Picked up my fucking shirts, <laughs> my merch shirts. Why? And then we went over in Cleveland, to Cleveland. We'll never know. Well, no. So I'll shout out my mans, man. Like shout so, out your mans, uh, dude. <laughs> uh, a little, little hanger to give some extra love. <laughs> Look, my man Prime, he's out in uh, 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 Primal Remedy. You know, he's out in uh, Cleveland, Ohio, and he puts on he puts these shirts Primal together. Primal Remedy, yeah, dude, he's he's really uh, the Print Remedy is his company. The Print Check Remedy. Check out the Print Remedy, yo, man, he's come through for me a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So, uh, What's and his this, name? um, what do you mean? Oh, he's, yeah, he's yeah. a rapper too. He goes oh, by so his, yeah. he goes by Primal Remedy. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. He's pretty yeah. dope. He's pretty dope. So, All right. um, but he he holds it down for Cleveland. Um, even this tour, I was trying to piece everything together. He had something happen to his his basement, like it flooded, and it, it got all of his equipment. And he was like, "I'll still do it. Don't worry about it, bro. I'll get yeah, it done. Man. I'll get it done. I'll put it in my room. I, I I'll get everything ready." He was like, "My wife is the shit because she just let me put it in the room and get everything done, and he's right on time." And he drove an hour to come bring it to me. Look at hey, this dude. Guy. He's a he's an animal, bro. So there it is. I animal shout him beast out. mode. <laughs> yeah, man. Georgia, Knoxville. Yeah, Cleveland. Cleveland. And then we went to Buffalo for the first show. And then so after Buffalo, New York, we went over to Ottawa, Ottawa, Canada, uh, uh, yeah, or Ontario, and then um, Toronto. And then we did uh, Montreal. Look at you. And then we went to uh, Burlington, Vermont for the for the listening party because I just I'm putting out an album. Yeah. So we did a listening party there. Um, After that, also SK is the producer of the whole album. SK. Yeah, yeah. So he lives in he lives in Burlington. So oh, all right. that's why we did the listening party there. But it's interesting to me, yeah. Yeah, man, he's he's a he's an animal, man. We we're actually listening to some of his beats right. He just sent me a pack of fifteen. Ooh. Just, it just, it just, hit, it just SK getting the fist bump. <laughs> fist bump. But 
Yeah, I'll so- take two of those for free. <laughs> <laughs> you know the vibes. <laughs> Let's go. And then after that, we hit the uh, we hit the Monday in the Mines on and, and um. That's right. Yep, yep. In Portland, I love Portland. And dude. then we came here, right? Now nah, you went to Cambridge last Cambridge. night. Okay, Cambridge. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And now you are here. Now we're here, man. Yep. We're chilling. And tomorrow we have Manchester, Manchester New Hampshire. Which, tomorrow which that's the Shaz Kings to, guy like, Zoo. You should, you, should, you, you yeah, might like I it. I should you know? be there. You yeah. might, oh, I should oh. be. But yeah, either way, yeah. Um, it's going to be fun, man. It's going to be super duper fun. Um, and then we got his. So actually, the Els thing. Yes. Um, they are doing what is it? Your one year anniversary Ooh. at the hometown in Providence. You know, that's going to be this insane. Friday night at the hometown Providence, Massachusetts. Sky, Sky Zoo. Zoo's going to be there. Landing yeah. words yeah. well, dirty, dirty. Yeah, man, it's going to be incredible, man. So of course it is. Um, Why wouldn't it be? I couldn't give you a reason. I could. <laughs> yeah. Can you can you tell me this? Are you um, are you feeling the love out there? Are you man. seeing people that are. We're seeing that are listening and yeah. engaging, yeah, and perhaps even aware of some of the music before you even start to sing it. No, no, that hasn't happened here. So, like, um, a lot of my music it gets pushed. I pushed it a lot in the West Coast, yeah, and so the East Coast is new to me. It's very new, to, new me, to me, and it's it's uh it's nice. It's nice to be able to build here. Uh, Canada. That was the first time I went to Canada. So how that, was that support? Canada, let me say. Let's be honest about Canada. I'm always, I'm always going to be honest. Yeah, um, I know. Especially on this, on your mic, um, your microphone here. Please. So, um, as far as like, <laughs> so <laughs> it says fibless. Fibless. No, it says frolics. <laughs> oh. Nah, man. Um, so we got to Ottawa. I'm trying to remember the show. Um, <laughs> we've done, we've done so, we, we like, we've been doing so much traveling that my brain is just. Psh. Patrick, are you allowed you, in Canada? Yeah. Um, maybe not right now. Maybe a couple more years. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So oh yeah, we went to Ottawa. Oh, man. hey, see. So we went to Ottawa. We just and we <laughs> sparks that little momentum in your yeah, brain. Yeah. Wheels yeah. He just rolling. planted it. Yeah. Yeah, man. So. No, actually, we had a show there. Um, it w- w- we lost one of our locals, man. And then, so when we lost the local, we pretty much lost the the right. crowd that he was going to bring. Yeah. So we ended up going upstairs. Luckily, there was an open mic upstairs that was owned by the the, the place was owned by the same people that gotcha. owned the bar yeah. Yeah. that we were at, and um, we had a good time, man. We had a great time. They were they were really receptive, actually. They ended up really digging what we were doing. Um, as a matter of fact, they asked us to to like they, like we left because it was just open mic. Yeah, and then uh, they were like, "Yo." You gonna come back? <laughs> and so we did again. We came you back. Got up some and, bread. <laughs> you know the vibes. I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, you know we'll be super cool. Right? <laughs> yeah. Of, what's a so every to you? I'll say every single time we did go out, people were very like uh, whoever was there was they were very nice receptive. To you, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were very receptive, man. I mean. Um, like like you've heard already, like their lyrics are extremely intelligent. It's extremely yeah. fucking riveting to listen yeah. to, and um, and you know I like to pride myself in like wordplay and things like that. So yeah. people were people were receptive to that. Right. Um, yeah. So it was smooth. Um, we're we're just out there trying to build out there, but in the east, now that we're out here, I'm ready to like you know continue keep it rocking. Without, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, just laying the groundwork yeah, right now. Yeah. 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 Then we get some sprouts. <laughs> and yeah, it's like a that's the goal, uh, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. It's and then it's a massive tree. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. I like I like doing shows out like out in the west. You know how sometimes you get comfortable because it feels good. You yeah, know? like I kept doing the west exactly. over, and over, over. What a and beautiful over. place. Yeah, but um, you know, it felt good to continue to go out there and rap for the same people that continue to support. But it's like all my friends were like, "Bro, you got it." at least put work in the east this is crazy you know, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. never go there it's crazy yeah. and i was like okay and this is now this is me putting in work in the east so i respect you putting in work in the east coast y'all are and this is where it was brought us together crazy. yeah exactly yeah. exactly so how do people check out land in words well what's the instagram what are we driving them towards where do we want them to go land in yeah and, man and these. <laughs> 
My whole family calls me that. That's crazy. Um, yeah. But yeah, so. I know. He told me I that. I told you Did that. You yeah, remember yeah. that? I told you. I told you. You wouldn't okay. have just known that. No one, you know, you wouldn't have just known that. I might have said Anthony because I did say Grammy Graham. Right? <laughs> so let's not doubt me. But <laughs> keep said, your let's, doubts. Let's yeah, not yeah. doubt me. <laughs> let's not go <laughs> doubting me. But, Please. <laughs> oh shit! What was the, what was that question? I don't remember. Oh, oh yeah, how do we find you out there? In the oh world? yeah, man. So Instagram, uh, pretty websites. much sites. Yeah, you just, if you just if you look me up, Landon Words well, it'll pick it'll it'll pop up. And if you um, Where if you, you go on Instagram, to find you is that a thing? Do you have a place that you yeah? Want Instagram is somewhere go? where I want them Instagram. to go. Instagram. Yeah. What's the handle there? It's Landon Words well. It just means land on words well. If you just type that in, it'll come to you. It okay. will come. <laughs> come hither. Yes, it Type will Type it and we'll come. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Right on. Mm-hmm. Um, there's two things that I want to happen. Okay. Here. First is you two switch because, yeah. I mean, you didn't give me any bars. I like, know. I was wondering. Is I was he, like, are he, we going to have to talk about this? Is this all right? Come on, man. Right now, Yo. Yes, yes. That's what you want. Yes, well, I mean. What's the second thing, though, first? I don't want you leaving here like, you know. That dude didn't ask me to spit yeah, bars. Spit. That's fine. What's the <laughs> second thing? You said two things. Yeah, don't see. Here he goes, worrying about the future. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro. Bro. yeah, yeah. I want to know. I want to know what's the second thing. <laughs> yeah, I want to I wanna prepare for the second thing before. It's just a whole lot of love, man. Don't worry. Oh, I worry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What? What's the? Uh, it's demean. Demean side wrong. Demean Siron, that's yeah, the stage Demean name. Siron, yeah. Yo, in the building with Demean Siron, ready to drop some bars. Yo, player, bring the heat, wild. Yeah. This is wild. Um, I'm wild. <laughs> let's see, what should I do? I'm sorry. Uh, here we go. Yeah. I walk in, I'm top ten. Smoother than H2O skin on days with no wind. He's so cold that his frame is frozen. Any picture taken of him is a major motion. Most of us don't speak the same languages. He's like God's debating in a room full of atheists. Silver surfing over crazy waviness, the whole style glow with a sacred radius. He's golden Sasquatch, not a homo sapien. My carbon footprints, weapon grade uranium. Get to know him, he's the opposite of flavorless. A run up in your lane and start scoring like Chamberlain. Imagine him crashing your crimson carpet. Coughing up the classiest cannabis products. Yeah. His swagger sickening. Kid slip on his vomit. And he's dripping with sauce. You could sniff up his stardust. Demi Saibon. Yeah. That's you a 16 it right too, here. by the way. 16. <laughs> a Had 16. to get math involved. <laughs> Don't feel bad. Don't feel, feel bad good. at all. <laughs> Word. Dirty Dirty is the duo. Land dirty words, Dirty. Though. Get hit. Put it one more time. You know how to spell dirty. If you don't, Word. it's a problem. But the second dirty... D U R D I E. Boom. Right there. Boom. That's it. Wow. Um, thank you. Yo, thank you. That was dope, man. You're, you're, you're a really dope. compelling individual. You too. Hey, thanks. You know? <laughs> you know the expression, rail recognize rail? Yeah, I've it's heard like it. It's like compelling recognize compelling. It just doesn't Understood. sound as cool. It's like it sounds cool. Compelling to recognize me. compelling. And you look right. familiar. It doesn't sound that cool. Right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> compelling, recognize, compelling, yo. <laughs> yo, on the compelling. <laughs> it's not going <laughs> to. On the compelling. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my um, God. You're right. It's awful. It sounds awful. Yo, so I just got to say the second thing. Mm. First, you went against my whole thing. Sorry. I was taught. I gave a whole, I gave a, almost a talk. It was almost a clinic on don't think about the future. When you do, don't let it be a worrying thing. Like, you need to know. I you wasn't worried at all. <laughs> you I felt the need to know. I, yeah, but I wasn't worried. I just wanted to make sure I was ready. Did it stir up a little angst? Sometimes interviewers ask, like, deep questions and, like, it takes me time to process. Do you go to sleep easily at night? Yeah. <laughs> no problems. Nope. <laughs> no. I do. I sleep, I sleep very good. As you pass on into the next world. Um, Will there be major regrets? You know that we don't dream anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Damn it. You know that. I've so been just tramped since 1991, up. maybe 86. Um, well, the second thing was just me 
saying thank you to you guys for a few things, all right? The first one is for actually taking the effort to move your physical bodies into this location today. That's that's number one, mm. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. The second one is for upon arriving here and for the entire time since you've been here, and I think Patrick over there will attest to this, <laughs> right? You've been kind and sweet yes. and like it's like we're brothers already that's what's and up. Some, something that that i am like really into and about is when you get here i'm definitely 100 percent going to start our relationship as if we've been down like mm. i because mm. why wouldn't i mm. put it in a position to just be beautiful there's no reason to start it doesn't mm. take time to get there mm. right and between us today the four of us and Pat back there, what we have done is shown that humans that don't, I, I never even heard of you guys, mm -hmm. didn't know you at all, mm -hmm. and you, we've communicated on a telephone and text messages, right? And we came in here today, and what we did was just be brothers mm -hmm. and show that life is beautiful, and I love you guys for that, all right? Oh, too, so that's man. the deepest lesson that went on. Yeah, man! Dirty, dirty. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. So it's, yeah, man, I love you guys. I mean that. Word. It's landing words well. It's dirty, dirty. It's your life. Anything y'all want to say before we wrap this thing up? I've had a great time. Yeah, what do you got to say? We do the dirty work. Yeah. Yeah, somebody got to do it. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. All right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, breathe. Breathe. Monday. <laughs> yeah. Monday. I love you guys. Love you Yo, too. and the, I guess if there was going to be another thing there, it would be thank you for not letting your passions just be like some pile of trash over in the corner of your room mm. for actually taking some action because mm. that's the only difference. Mm. And that's incredible. Word. Yeah. Thank you. Nice work. This right here is offering something. I'm your host, Enjoy Michael Bernier. Big love to our sponsors. You're so sweet and nice. Enjoy your life brand, Rockport Brewing Company, that is making this absolutely incredible Enjoy Your Life Session IPA. You know I love you, Rockport Brewing. And to the good people at New Balance, look at those kicks right there, y'all. Woo! Yeah, you see it happening in real life. That's it, y'all. We love you. Peace. And ah, I don't know what else to say.